RuneScape is filled with a lot of weird things, but who would have thought that collecting dinosaur dung and catching it on fire can be one of the best money makers in the game? And if that doesn't grab your attention, just wait to see how much GP per hour you can actually make by doing this. So if you're excited, let's dive right in. In this method, we are going to be making dinosaur propellant, which is one of the materials used to make dineros. And if you don't know what dineros are, they are used to make the creations of the god arrows. As for the requirements, they are pretty steep. Of course, you're going to need Anachronia Unlocked, which if you guys don't know, I can make a separate video for that. But all you have to do is run over by the Archaeology Guild, run a little north, and you will find a ship there. And then you're going to have to go through a little bit of tutorial for the island, and you'll have Anachronia Unlocked. You will also need 95 Fire Making, which is a little steep for Fire Making since it sucks doing fire making but i can always make a video for you guys on how you can gain so much xp with fire making in a short amount of time now probably the steepest of the requirements is the extinction quest the extinction quest might be one of the steepest things possible for this method but the rewards are the best i have ever seen first off you have access to dream of aya which is one of the best scaling areas in the the game next you will get also a warped gem after you complete it which you can also get the passive ring of vigor so if you're big into pvm and whatsoever in the game that is a massive massive buff if you are also into boston inside of satestan you know arc glacier carapac croceus and zuck you will also be able to upgrade your pontifex shattering to an enriched pontifex shattering which also becomes a passive so instead of gaining the tier one tier two troves while doing the bossing or even skilling outside of Croesus, you will gain tier threes which have an increased amount of loot as for the recommended i do recommend having dive or bladed dive and search it will make you move around this method so much quicker but again it's not needed you can easily do this method without having those now, by doing this method, you're going to be looking at about 19 million GP per hour, which isn't too bad for a skilling method. You're also going to be looking at about 700,000 fire making XP per hour by just catching some dinosaur poo on fire. Before we fully dive in, I would like to mention that majority of you that do watch my content and drop likes aren't even subscribed. So if you guys are enjoying the video and you guys are enjoying the methods that I'm putting out there, please make sure to hit that sub button and maybe even hit that notification bell so you guys know when I upload next. All right, back to the video. Now, once you have all the requirements, now it is time to get there. So first off, you're gonna teleport to Anachronia. Once you do get it unlocked, it is a pain to get it unlocked. You have to go through an entire tutorial of everything you can do on Anachronia. But once you have everything unlocked, all you're gonna do is hit the lodestone. You're gonna run southwest down the path, run past the big game hunter spot, run down another path right down to the beach. Now, once you're on the beach, you're gonna run on the west side of the beach, click on the storm barn and fill your inventory full of rexes. Now, once your inventory is full of rexes, now it's time to just run around in circles and feed all of them. And the best method to do that is shown on screen now. You're gonna run north to the Beanie Mush Trout, then you're gonna run west to the Berry Mush Trout, and then you're gonna run south up the hill with the pathway for the Cereal Lee Mush Trout, and then you're gonna run all the way past the Storm Barn at the peninsula area for the fourth one which is the rudy mush trial and as you can see you will see that the rexes in your inventory will change color to the trial that you are working with so if you lose track you can always go back to the map that was shown and just follow along right after that now, once you're finished feeding all of your rexes in your inventory, you'll be left with some fertilizer. Now, the fertilizer you can then burn to make the dinosaur propellant. Now, this part of the method, it does take about 48 seconds to clear your inventory. But once that is done, you just run back to the storm barn and you collect some more dinos inside of your inventory and you repeat the process for an entire hour. Now, I did this for a little under 10 minutes for a test, and I was able to sell it for GE price for about 3.1 million, just for a little under 10 minutes. When I ran the test, I purposely did not use dive, bladed dive, or any type of surging, just to see what I can get just by running around. 
Now, if I did a full hour doing that nonstop, I would have looked around about 19 mil GP per hour. So you can possibly make about 20 mil an hour doing this method if you surge and dive correctly while running around the island. So making about 20 mil GP per hour just for catching some dung on fire is not bad at all. All, especially if you need to try to get 99 fire making 700,000 XP per hour is not bad either but I do know there are quicker methods for fire making XP which I can talk about in another video in the future but that does come to an end to one of the simplest money making methods in the game it's not click intensive but it's also not afkable so I mean it's one of the things that's in the middle and it makes pretty decent GP per hour so if you guys found anything useful within this video please Drop a like, maybe even consider subscribing for future money making methods and or novice PVMing within Boston of RuneScape. But that's all we have for now, and I hope you guys stay safe. See ya.